Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is October and this is my first haul for October. We are a family of four in Southern California with a budget of $450 a month for groceries. And I'm gonna go over everything I purchased today at Aldi and share the prices with you. The prices will be popped up on the screen. I'm gonna share what everything's for and have recipe links in the description box down below so you can try out some of these recipes that I've picked out for my family. So first off, like always, we're gonna go start with the snacks. I'm gonna turn around. Hopefully I don't mess up on this video because I only have time for one take. So hopefully it turns out okay. The first thing I got was some blue Gatorade. My kids do play soccer and I get them a Gatorade after their games on Saturdays, and we normally have red. I've never seen blue. I'm sure lots of places have the blue, but I've never purchased it, and I thought maybe they would like that as something different. Then I picked up these apple cider donut Oreos that they had at Aldi. I thought that they looked really good. They also had a caramel brownie. That looked really good. I figured if we don't like them, I can take them to work and I'm sure they'll get eaten. But um, yeah, lots of new Oreos out right now. There's so much fall snacks right now. Um, so this is just the one thing that I thought we would like this week. I did not get a lot of snacks because this company reached out to me on Instagram and sent me some snacks. The company is called Nutstop. I'll have their website linked in the description box below. If you want to try out any of their things, they have like nuts, like these macadamia nuts. I also got like pecans and walnuts. They have them roasted or raw. And then they also sell some fun snack mixes, which is why I'm not buying a lot of snacks this week. I got the spicy sriracha trail mix for myself. They did send these to me um, for free, but it's not something I'm being paid to um, sponsor or anything. So the reviews on my Instagram about these will be my own opinions. I got the cranberry pretzel trail mix. I also picked out some gummy bears for the kids and some dried apple rings. So those are all the snacks. So I didn't get that many snacks, just the Oreos. And then I got these for next week. I'm gonna get some hummus to go with it. But I saw these by the checkout and I wasn't sure if they'd have it next week. A lot of times with Aldi, you don't know um, if they're gonna have something the following week. And these are gorgonzola flavored pita chips. I thought they'd be really good with some hummus. So these are going to be part of my snacks or lunches for next week. I'm just going to put them aside and save them because sometimes Aldi finds are only there for a week and then they're gone. And then if you did want to order anything from Nutstop, if you use the code MINIFOODIE, you get 10% off. So then going into breakfast, I picked up some strawberries. Normally, um, my Aldi has the Main Street brand strawberries, and they have not been good lately, so this time they had Central West. I don't know if it's like a different um, area that they come from, but hopefully they're a little bit better. Our strawberries last week were not that good. Then I got some Driscoll's raspberries. These are more expensive than last week. Last week they were on sale, but they're so good, and I've been really enjoying them in the morning, and we're going to keep buying them <laughs> even when they get more expensive I can't help it we got some butter for toast in the morning the kids like having toast as a quick breakfast before school I got sourdough bread to go with that toast then I picked up these maple K cups they're new I thought my husband would like these for an afternoon cup of coffee I also got the kids some pop tarts for a quick breakfast with some fruit Whenever they have the name brand Pop-Tarts in the brown sugar cinnamon flavor, I pick them up because it's the kids' favorite. My husband has been enjoying some protein powder, and I thought this would be good with it. Um, oat milk, we normally buy almond milk, but I wanted to try this out. The only oat milk I've ever had is from Starbucks, so hopefully this one is good too. I thought it would be good in my husband's protein shakes. Then I got this Fairlife chocolate milk. I was going to get the chocolate almond milk, but the chocolate almond milk had 20 grams of sugar and only seven grams of protein. And this one has 12 grams of sugar and 13 grams of protein. And because it's ultra filtered, it does last longer, 14 days from when you open it. So I thought this would be a good option for the kids in the morning. 
They also requested some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If you want to save a dollar, you can get the Aldi brand. But my kids like just the regular Cinnamon Toast Crunch better. And for myself back here, the last thing is this strawberry flavored water. It's like sparkling water. Tastes like strawberry soda. It's really good. I buy this occasionally for myself. Also for breakfast, we got two dozen eggs. Eggs are just obviously a great breakfast staple. We got some sausage. This is just microwavable or you can throw it in the air fryer. Cooks up very fast because it's already fully cooked. So it's something you can make quickly in the morning. I picked up some bananas for smoothies. I picked up a mango just because it looked good. I'm the only one that likes it. It needs to ripen a little bit more, but it should be good pretty soon. And I picked up some frozen strawberries so my husband can do strawberry banana protein smoothies with his protein and his oat milk. Now moving on to lunches. I got a lot of stuff for lunches. The kids sometimes like doing little lunchable style things with pepperoni and cheese. So I got some pepperoni. I got Munster cheese this week. We do have some provolone left over from last week. I also got some turkey. I got two packages. And we do have a little salami left from last week. We're into sandwiches right now. I picked up two cans of the solid white albacore tuna. And then to change up the sandwiches a little bit this week, I got brioche rolls. They're so cute. They're really delicious. And it just changes up lunch a little bit, putting it on a different kind of bread. So sometimes we do crackers, bread, Hawaiian rolls, and this week we did brioche rolls. Then I got them these, or this beef summer sausage. I figured I would slice this up. And we have some cheese cubes left from last week. And I can send this in their lunch box with these crackers. These are equivalent to Ritz crackers. Can't tell the difference, I promise. They're super good. Another snack I got for um, myself is grape tomatoes with cottage cheese. I am on a kick for this. I've been eating it for like the past three weeks. It's so good. I add a little seasoned salt, grape tomatoes, and cottage cheese. Very good. Let me know if you try it. Then I got some just regular tomatoes to slice to put on sandwiches. And then we got some mac and cheese for weekend lunch for the kids. Got two boxes, equivalent to Velveeta. And we picked up some hot dog and hot dog buns. And then for fruit options for lunches, we picked up some green grapes and some Granny Smith apples. That is three pounds. And I picked up two bags of the Honeycrisp apples because we've just been eating them too quickly. Each bag has about six apples in it. Make sure you're checking them because last week the apples that we picked up had some bruised apples and this week I noticed too I had to go through them because a lot of the bags of Honeycrisp apples had bruised apples. So nobody wants a bruised apple so make sure you're checking them. All right that's all the lunch things. I feel like we're set for more than a week of lunches and now we're going to go into dinners. I have some really good recipes linked below if you want to try them out and copy any of these dinners. We're going to do two chicken dinners. The first one is honey garlic chicken. My husband found it on Pinterest. So part of the chicken is going to be for that meal. We got just like a family pack of chicken. We're going to have it with green beans. And we're going to have it with roasted potatoes. We bought these potatoes last week. They're pretty good. They do have a little bit of a sweetness to them. Um, I think we'll go good with the garlic lemon. Is it garlic lemon? garlic butter chicken. Here's the butter for that. Definitely we'll have leftover butter. We're not going to use all this. And then the other chicken recipe is a cilantro lime chicken. So I got fresh cilantro. And then I also got this just to have in my fridge. I might use it in the marinade for the chicken, just the cilantro paste. They have different paste options. They have garlic, they have parsley. I think they have an Italian one, ginger, and maybe this is the last one but if you see these these are pretty good and then i got some limes to go with that we're going to marinate the chicken in the cilantro and lime it's going to be really good and we're going to have that with corn on the side so i got two bags of corn frozen because they didn't have any fresh corn another meal we're going to do is tacos 
and I got ground beef because that is on sale at Aldi this week. So it was cheaper than this. I'll have the price up on the screen for you. Then I got some taco seasoning to go with that meat. I got some onion powder. I like adding extra onion powder to the seasoning for the tacos. I picked up an avocado to go with the tacos and sour cream. I love the Aldi sour cream. It's so creamy. The flavor is great. And I'll probably use a lime from here in that meal as well. Then our next meal I saw on TikTok, so I'm excited to try it. We love salmon, but um, the one video I saw on TikTok had salmon and you put Dijon mustard on it. So I got some Dijon mustard and then you use Old Bay seasoning and cook it in the air fryer. So just those three things. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do half the salmon with that. I got two pieces. And then the other half I'm just gonna do with dill, lemon, and garlic. So I got a big bag of lemons for that. Um, we have a rollover meal from last week. We did not have spaghetti and meatballs when my husband did his grocery haul. He did a haul two weeks ago and he picked out all of our meals and did the grocery shopping. He did the video, it's awesome. I will link it below. If you like sarcasm, you'll like it. And we had spaghetti and meatballs on that meal plan, but we never made it. We got busy and it was something that could last longer. It was like frozen. So we're carrying it over into this week. We're gonna do Caesar salad with it. So I got some romaine lettuce. And then these are just some things I got to stock up the pantry or to carry over to next week because I wasn't sure if Aldi would still have it. I got these mashed potatoes just for the pantry. It's an interesting flavor and I haven't seen it at Aldi before, so I just got I just grabbed it. Then there is this pads Thai noodle bowl. Never seen this before either, and I'm gonna eat it right after I film this. So I'll review it on my Instagram. My Instagram is mini foodie, so this will be reviewed and photographed on my Instagram. So right after you watch this, head over there and you can see reviews for this and any other new items. I also share photos and videos of the food I'm making. When I'm making these recipes, you'll see them on my Instagram. And I reviewed a couple of the trail mixes from Nutstop, so you can see that there as well. I got some chicken broth just to have in my pantry. I got these langostino tails. I don't know if I said it right, but this is like a cross between lobster and shrimp. We're gonna put this on the meal plan next week and do like lobster rolls. I'm not sure what to serve with it. Let me know. What do you think is a good side to serve with lobster rolls? We're going to have that next week, but I'm just going to put it in the freezer. This is frozen, so I don't know if Aldi's going to have it next week, so I just got it. And then the other thing I got, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're going to have this at some point for lunch this week. It's this Chicago-style deep dish pizza. My husband loves the Chicago-style pizza. I've never seen it before. It was with all the refrigerated pizzas. So we're gonna fit this in and have it for lunch. So that is everything. I spent, I believe, just over $160. So my first week of the month is usually a pretty big haul, as you can see. I had to get creative to fit it all on the table. But we spend $450 a month. The first week is always a lot. The last week is always just a little bit. We eat up what we have on hand. So if you're enjoying these grocery haul videos, please give it a thumbs up. I have grocery hauls up every Friday. And see me on my Instagram and chat with me through the week and see the meals that I'm making. I'll see you guys next Friday with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.